Welcome to my creative chronic life. Today I'm back with another colour along with me. I will be using the Small Victories Johanna Basford's colouring book and I'll be using the Stedler 24 colouring pencil set. As I've mentioned previously, the Stedler sets don't come with any specific name so I'm unable to list them for you but as you can see I'm just using a few various shades of pinks, browns and reds. Today I decided to go for this cupcake and I chose this one in particular because it reminded me of a cupcake that I used to make many many years ago when I was still able to and this is a raspberry cupcake and what it's got is raspberry buttercream, just a plain vanilla sponge and then on the top you put white chocolate with raspberry flavouring in it so it turns pink and that's what this reminded me of instantly when I saw it so that's the colours I decided to go for too I decided to do the cupcake wrapper in almost light brown colour so it's almost like a cream wrapper so you know when you bake cupcakes and you sort of baking items the butter kind of just gets golden and crisp around the casing and it almost turns it into this light brown caramelised colour so that's kind of what I was going for here I really really enjoyed colouring in this cupcake it brought back lots of nostalgic memories and also whilst I was doing it I thought it would be quite hard to kind of get the colours that I needed but it was okay because what I did was just start off a little bit lighter on the top and then work my way down like I do for the buttercream part I just made it a little bit dark so it almost was red but you know as buttercream tends to settle throughout the day the colour seems to deepen and darken and almost have like a crust over it well that's what made it look a bit more red so that's what I chose to do here have you managed to have any time to do some colouring are you still on the fence about it like I mentioned Johanna Basford was doing some lives this week on Facebook um, I think unfortunately she missed a couple because she was sick and then she pre-recorded some so if you haven't managed to catch her live she did say that she might pop on this following week after the weekend and do so and if you're aware she's got a free downloadable for you so if you want to colour along what she's colouring along at the same time as her you can download that for free there have been lots and lots of creators out there that have been doing the small victories unboxings and flip throughs and colour along with me's now the one I usually mainly watch is called Rachel Henderson and I follow her over on Instagram as well she's been one of my all time favourite colour colouring sort of what do you want to call it YouTubers and I just love the fact that she's so calm and it's so quiet and you can just sit there either in the background whilst you're doing your own work or if you want to watch and colour along you can do so so if you haven't already popped over and followed Rachel please do I will leave her details in the description box below I also want to say a big big thank you to all my new subscribers thank you so much and welcome to my channel I hope you'll all enjoy what I've been showcasing so far I do also enjoy doing some plan with me's which I'll be posting um, a December plan ahead with me sometime next week so keep a look out for that as well and if you haven't already subscribed please do it will be wonderful to have you be part of my community now I have mentioned over on Instagram and in YouTube a couple of days ago that I will be giving a doing a giveaway when I reach just over 100 subscribers so keep an eye out for that too I think what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and pop some music over. If you've been enjoying the music that I've been sharing, I use Epidemic Sound. All of the details about the songs I've used are always in the description box below. I hope you all enjoy.
we're almost coming to the end now and I wanted to just mention the other day when I mentioned about gel pens now as icing is usually shiny I decided to use a white gel pen to go over but with gel pens you have to kind of layer them so this will dry and then I'll go back on and add them but what I do like to do is a little bit of a trick where as it's still wet I go over with a darker pink colour just over the top so then it almost looks like it's shiny but still dark at the top and you'll see I'll show you that towards the end. So here you can see the white gel pen is still drying, it's just a little bit wet and then I'm just going over the gel pen with just the same pink I used for this bottom of the icing and you can just see how it makes it look really realistic. That's all from me today, I hope you all enjoyed watching. Please do leave a comment below, let me know if you did. You can follow me over on TikTok, Instagram at ThreadsUp at My Creative Chronic Life. That's all until next time. Bye bye.